Okay, oh, welcome back to the uh, playthrough where we forget to turn our console off and leave the game running overnight. Um, today we're going through the pure dark route, and I have another guest with me, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Sup? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm Pedrova, I don't really, I haven't really played this game much, but I just thought why not join in. Yeah. So I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, what's your... Experiences of this game, if any. Um, I played it, or I tried playing through it when I was a kid, but um, it went. I think I got around maybe four missions in, and I think I was just going new control because I was going for the uh, the gold rings. Yeah. And it was around the time when my mother decided to just ban all violent video games. Oh God. She just sold everything. Tekken? I loved playing Tekken. God, because we heard people punching each other. You can't have and, that. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, it's, it's really funny because my, uh... My mother had that excuse when it came to getting video games. We were always like, why won't you let Xavier get... Or, I'm Xavier, but that's my normal name. Why won't you get, let Xavier get, uh... Your Pokemon? And she would always say, because it's too violent. And then everybody would always be like... <laughs> But you let them watch Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, what constitutes as <laughs> not being a violent game at that point? Yeah, like I've always wondered that. She never gave a straight answer. I I'm pretty sure her reasoning for Dragon Ball Z though is because Dragon Ball Z was really cool. It's like she, she she knows stuff about Dragon Ball, and I was like, wow. Yeah, that, that, that's basically all I can say. I still, like, have, like, barely any knowledge about Dragon Ball. I just, as far as I'm aware, it's just a bunch of guys shooting, like, lasers at people. Yeah, basically. I mean, there's, of course, there's more to it than that. Because, I mean, yeah. they've got to scream and become blonde at some point. But, like, at its root, it's, it's supposed to be a martial arts show. Yeah. But it just got to the point where the martial art was channeling your key to the point at which you're able to fire lasers. And just yell at the top of your lungs for like five years. Yeah, and apparently <laughs> you've got good control of your body over that entire yeah. period of time. It's like, or like Goku like shouts like he's constipated for hours and then he just goes Super Saiyan free. <laughs> uh, you know, when I was like 12, my brain would always just immediately go to, what if Goku was constipated? Would he just have to go Super Saiyan in order to let it out? That's pretty it's much what it goes, comes down to. Yeah, yeah, it always pops into my head. Yeah. So, uh... What kind of gun is that? Uh, I think it's just a pistol. F uh, thankfully, like, even though it's, like, completely out of place, the gunplay is actually pretty solid in this game for the most part. Yeah, I'd expect so. If that's, like... It's like the main gimmick of this game, it feels like, that <laughs> you're playing yeah. Sonic, but with a gun. Yeah. So, it, I feel like it would make sense that they would probably give a lot of focus on the gun. Yeah, I don't mind a lot of this game's concepts. Like, I don't mind the idea of, like, the gunplay or the mor morality system. It's yeah. mainly, mainly for me, the a lot of the missions just kind of suck ass. <laughs> and, mm. like, um... The morality system doesn't even matter. Like, if there's a final story where I'm forced to get all the endings anyway, why does it? Why should I really care about anything I'm doing? Yeah, I understand that. Cause like I was just about to say, morality systems in video games are super cool. Yeah. Like in uh, in Infamous, that game's entire plotline just changes based on if you decide to randomly kill civilians or not. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. But, like, if it doesn't really matter because you have to do everything, then it's kind of a little lame. Yeah, I think what this game could have done is, uh, I've mentioned this a few times, but it, I think it would have been better if they just did a full level run and not had, like, op optional paths for different levels and stuff, and instead had it made it so each level had a dark and hero route um, that made you go to a different pathway and the more if you do mostly dark level dark missions 
the final stage will be like Gun HQ and you fight Sonic or something at the end, and that'll be like the definitive ending for that playthrough. But if you do the if you do mostly hero stuff, then you'll go to the Black Comet at the end. Like something best comparison would be like Web of Shadows, where um, depending on if you do mostly good or bad things, that's the that determines what ending you get. Yeah, that sounds cool. I think it would um, it'd also be pretty neat if like the the split pathways and the levels had different kinds of enemies. Yeah. Just to like further show the alignment without actually showing anything. Hmm. Of course, like considering the time in which this game was released, I'm sure it was probably something that they wouldn't have considered. Yeah. Just having, instead of just having one massive area, it's probably more straightforward for them. I suppose so. It's, um... I don't know, it's... It's kind of weird, because I, I, I like... I like a lot of the ideas in this, it's just... The way they go about it isn't exactly the greatest. Yeah, I can understand that. I feel like that's the thing with a lot of Sonic games, though. Yeah. Because... The raw amount of times which I've touched the game and just thought this would have been so much cooler if they did this more or this less. Like, I'd be here all day yeah. talking about them. Yeah, like X, Y, and Z instead of B, Y, A, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if only they could go Anybody from could get my way X, Y, way and Z instead of going to like Q, L, and G or something. Yeah. <laughs> Focus on the things that connect to each other instead of throwing random things in and hoping they work. Yeah. I will say I I wouldn't mind them sit like doing a shadow two in a in a different way, like um have it so it's like just Team Dark just going on a bunch of different missions and whatnot, so you could kinda have uh, a mix of the ideas of shadow and heroes in one game. Major cities around the world, and yeah. every city is reporting that would be a pretty, um, pretty them, interesting idea. I'm honestly shocked that we've still gone through this whole Downtown cycle of just Sonic in the past, like, decade. Yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of it. Like, Forces at least gave you the OC, but... Mm, it's still honestly. mostly just... It, it's pretty much just Sonic with a weapon. Yeah, I, I was just thinking about that, um... If they wanted to make another Shadow game, they could just base it off of that and make it so we can like cycle through the weapons in the middle of yeah. the levels instead. That would be cool. Yeah. Very straightforward way to maintain a design. I just now noticed that dude had heterochromia. <laughs> yeah. So I was just looking at his face and I was just like, wait, he has like a yellow eye and a blue eye that... Uh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, like that's it's a very easy way if you want to keep the idea of Shadow being the Sonic character that uses weapons. And um, I remember the uh, the Forces DLC that had Shadow. I was a little sad that it was basically like I was just playing Sonic again. Yeah, it's pretty much just a Sonic clone in that game, which I guess is true in uh, most games, but it's kind of lame. Mm -hmm. Like. Of course, it, it was okay when it was in, like, Adventure 2, because, for one, you needed some way to play, like, a Sonic kind of story mode in the evil playthrough. Yeah, and it was but, also um, kind of the point in that game, too, so... Like, it was... that was the entire point, it was like, there's yeah. this fake hedgehog, even though, technically, you know, he's still a hedgehog of some sort. Yeah. Got it. But, uh, yeah. Shadow could definitely do more things. Like, <laughs> I don't know why my brain just immediately went to it. I gotta bring it up. Sonic 06 made them different. Yeah, like, I, <laughs> I, I love how, like, the only, only game past this point to actually do something with Shadow is 06. Like, everything after that is just, uh, I don't know, let's just have him stand in the background and have him fold his arms or have a random boss fight for no reason. Let's have him say three words at the end of Generations. Yeah, Perfection. yeah. 
It's like, one of the reasons I'd love a Team Dark kind of game, like a spin-off or whatever, is that they just need to give this character something to do again, <laughs> like... Oh, definitely. It's like, like um, yeah. Like, he's, he's shadowed the Hedgehog, you know? He's yeah. part of Gun, he's got all this stuff going on with him. It's not like his story is suddenly over because he had his own solo game. Yeah. I like how 06's Shadow Store is basically a continuation of this one, where it's like, oh, join me because humans suck, Shadow. It's like, no, I already went through the song and dance, screw off, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's, he's shown character development. Yeah. He's like an actual good person now. Yeah. Even though his name is still edgy beyond belief. Yeah, but you roll with it, I guess. You know, the, the thing that gets me, though, is that he has to have been named that, mm. you know? Yeah. Because everybody already referred to him as that. So either he just woke up one day, realized he could think properly, and he was like, my name is Shadow. Or someone at the, uh, the Ark <laughs> named him. <laughs> so, like, e either way, somebody there has, like, this edgy mindset where they're like, okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna name this, uh, this black and red hedgehog Shadow. Yeah, it's a really yeah. cool name. I mean, they're probably thinking of, of like pet names. Cause like I can, you can definitely see someone naming like their their black cat Shadow. I know one of my friends has a cat named Shadow, so. Yeah, because it's just like naming a white cat Snowball. Yeah, I suppose you know? so. It's, it's, it's a really similar aspect. <laughs> yeah. But just the the fact that uh, Shadow is just such an edgy name. Wow. Yeah, I got a lot of this game was a paintball game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this uh, cyberspace level is actually pretty fun. The um I guess the sister level of this Mad Matrix really sucks because uh at least a dark mission does because you're just kind of mindlessly going around these rails trying to find like 30 bombs that like have no draw draw distance whatsoever. And I swear it takes like 30 minutes to find them all. Um, whereas this, this one is just a linear pathway, and it's some pretty cool, cool level design, all things considered, I think. Yeah, well, it definitely looks cool. Yeah. Like, I'm I, really enjoying just looking at it. I can't think of any other game that does a level like this in Sonic, anyway. Yeah, Sonic could definitely deal with more, uh, more cyberpunk -y level designs. Because, yeah. um, <laughs> yeah. of course, we're, we're used to the cities, we're used to the Green Hill number 4842. Oh, give us, like, another cyberpunk level, or give us, like, another music-based level, like in Sonic Advance. Yeah, I, want, I don't want them to be creative for level themes again, because, like, there's only so, so many times I can sit through Green Hill and Chemical Plant before I get bored. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I, I never get bored of the Chemical Plant. I just love Chemical Plant. Oh, God. Like, Green Hill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, that's probably gonna cost me my air rank now. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, I don't know, like... I... I just feel like they don't care about level themes anymore, like they just kind of def default to the generic stuff nowadays, I find. Feels kind of like they're meeting a bit of a quota. Yeah, it's like, okay, let's have our city level, let's have our Green Hill stage, let's do a random casino stage. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's been that way ever since 06. Because. Just thinking about 06's levels, they had a volcano level, they had a bunch of city levels, but different portions of areas. Radical Train was cool because it was a train chase, but like, mm. at the end of the day, it was just a typical hill level. True, yeah. I can appreciate colors for having a lot of uh, cool themes. Mm -hmm. Colors immediately set itself up for near perfection in terms of level design, just because yeah. it was chaining a bunch of different worlds together. Yeah, in terms of just level themes, I think Colors might be one of my favorites in that regard. Mm -hmm. In terms I've of like, really gotten 
I've only gotten to play like the DS version of Colors, but I uh, definitely remember thinking like, wow, all these levels are really uh, fancy compared to what I just went through in Rush. Yeah. So Tropical Resort is a great f opening stage, I think. Mm -hmm. Even if in the DS version I always end up hitting the first enemy because I'm stupid. <laughs> I have a problem really finding the red red rings in that game because I, I can't like the the way the DS screen works is like um, in ru the rush games is like how do you even explain that like the god oh damn not here <laughs> well you went down <gasps> shadow just cursed <laughs> damn not here <laughs> I like how it sounds yeah. like he's whispering it, like, under his breath. He's like, ah, I can't say this out loud or else the parents will hear. <laughs> oh, good. I remember when I first played this game and, like, everyone was paranoid that it was going to have, like, mild cursing or whatever. And it was like, <laughs> it's really nothing much. It's like, it's just a bunch of damn. <laughs> and you're, you're going straight to hell. Straight to hell. <laughs> you're going straight to hell. Damn, they got away. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sonic. I didn't mean to do that. Right. What's that? Death number three? Right oh, four! Right. This is not even a hard level, I'm just sucking. <laughs> is there a... Is there a life system in this game? I don't see any... Yeah, there's a life system. I don't think you can get lives from... Uh, not 100 rings, but I could be wrong. Yeah, because I, I just realized, like... You spawned really fast, and I don't see any like. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. All it took for you was all it took was for you to get hit by something instead of lose a life. Yeah. Okay. That that's gonna be a bit of a gripe with me. I'm gonna keep seeing you die, then come back and not see your lives. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to keep dying. <laughs> Hopefully, just keep it down to this specific level. That would be pretty funny. This level can just be the one nightmare level of the entire run. Yeah. It should be near the end. Come on. I'm con. Oh, you can go up that, okay. Yeah, you're supposed to go on the platforms back there, but screw it. <laughs> I was just absolutely convinced that that was actually just not supposed to be what you were gonna do. <laughs> I was like, maybe he's just trying to like blast up or something by like air do not air dodging. I played Whatever too much Smash. By, <laughs> no concern of mine. by homing attacking into the uh, like the ledge or something, you shoot himself up. Maybe you know some strat like that. But it was like, nope. It's just. I love how Perfect. stupid, uh, like generous the ranking system in that. That should have been an A. <laughs> You got an A rank. You tied four times. Like four what, five. I, what? I don't even remember. Yeah, like the this game is stupidly generous. Mm -hmm. Malevolent games. Like, of course, it's still not as generous as Sonic Forces. No. <laughs> I, Forces like takes the crown of like probably the easiest game in the series. Sonic Forces, nor the getting S rank. Did you finish the level? Yes. S rank. <laughs> Did you walk walk five feet? S S rank. Okay. S rank. Oh man, if if I was good at like modding games, I would totally make a mod of that game where every step would signal the S rank <laughs> animation. <laughs> I love the mod where it's literally just nothing but uh, the first Green Hill stage of Modern Sonic, and it's literally just repeated 30 times, and then it just rolls credit, <laughs> and then it just rolls credits. Wow, Green Hill's looking a lot like Sand Hill right now, <laughs> and then just roll credits. <laughs> yeah. No, unfortunately, I, I don't remember the ending theme. For forces, all I can think of is fist bump. Maybe that was the ending theme. I I don't know. All, all I remember uh, is like it's, it's like anime ending song thing. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Isn't that Dr. Eggman? Yeah, I feel like Sonic's definitely got that on lock. Yeah. 
but not just any kind of anime song. They always have like the early 2000s English dub by Funimation anime song. Is Forces the first game since like what like Colors where they did vocal themes for the uh, for the game? I believe so. Because hmm. I, I don't really remember anything else because it was basically just colors generations the cursed games that we don't bring up and then <laughs> forces yeah so i don't think we've that's weird we went almost a decade without another vocal theme after colors yeah it's weird because uh what was it there was like the sonic u theme um which i feel like probably would have worked really well for generations I remember when I heard Sonic Youth, I was like, are we gonna get the Generations 2? <laughs> and then nothing yeah. came out of it. Well, we technically got a Generations 2, but it sucked. <laughs> we got Generations 2, but the only Generations we got were... Genesis. Yeah. Man, just imagine if, um, if Sonic Forces, if, if Park Avenue, if that was like Spagonia. Instead, Spagonia and Flames. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, that would have been sick. Like, I, there was a, there's a um, concept. There's concept art of like, um, what Green Hill, in like as like a concentration camp or something. Oh um, my god. And there's like barbed wire everywhere. Like, if they had you go through all these familiar areas and they were all changed significantly like that, I feel like, I feel like it would warrant these these callbacks a lot more, because otherwise it's just like, <laughs> Green Hill, Sand Hill, lol. <laughs> Green Hill's looking a lot like Sand Hill right now. Yeah. You know, I, I do think there is some funny dialogue in Forces, Yeah. but that was most certainly not one of them. Yeah, I feel like, I don't have an issue with like humor in the series, but I feel like yeah. a lot of the games nowadays are like, too concerned about trying to make you laugh 24 7 um in instead of tr just trying to tell a story and i feel like it gets in the way of a lot of things yeah i feel like sonic's one of those franchises that doesn't need to go all out of humor it's nice that mm -hmm. it does but when you realize that it's most popular games are all games to take a step back from it you start yeah. to realize the issues it's like these games don't have like great storytelling by any means but um what i like about games from sa1 to black knight is that they at least try to tell us they at least try to tell a genuine story and don't feel like parodies of themselves well like the yeah. modern games do yeah i definitely feel that because like well, one thing that happened a lot with a lot of the modern games was just a straightforward Eggman found like this god thing that's trying to use it against Sonic. Then yeah. the god thing fights back. Oh god, what's going on? Were you just busy zoning ah. out a bit? Oh, <laughs> well, but, I guess it didn't matter. Yeah, I. Th this thing is really glitched up because, like. Like, you should try going to an area and, like, you, like, hug the right and, like. The alien will just kind of take 10 years to turn, so you're kind of just <laughs> <laughs> stuck, like, going into a wolf for, like, five years. <laughs> the alien just really like that specific wall. i like to die, too. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine the thing that you were just flying on. It just has, like, the, uh, the cupcake from Asdith movie. <laughs> where it's just like, I want to die! Yeah. What a, what a classic, as the. Yeah, I gotta love that. I, I remember when I was obsessed with that in, back in like high school. Oh uh, man, for me it was middle school. Every single person just quoted that. That was everybody's sense of humor. Yeah. Oh good. Nowadays it's like, oh cool, a new one came out. Let me watch it. And then yeah. suddenly I see a billion memes later on because, of course, you know, other people haven't moved on or other people just found it. Desma Namumba. How did I get, did I here? get here? The end. <laughs> and then this is the, the other one where he's just dead. <laughs> Skeleton. Yeah. God. Good stuff. That's a 
big old launcher Shadow's got there. Yeah. Well, so this, this level is like completely screwed up in terms of the uh, missions because um, the way the uh, ranking system works is that if you're doing a dark mission, you want to primarily focus on building up your dark gauge because the hero points will basically minus um, the um, your overall score. But the thing, <laughs> the thing is with this stage is that um, to get dark points, you have to kill Eggman's robots. And the dark mission has you um, go go on Eggman's side, so you literally have to have Eggman yell at you to get a good rank. <laughs> uh, just, uh, I'm just thinking about that while also hearing Eggman like, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, Eggman's like, yes, good, kill more of my robots. But yeah. first, please make sure to handle this. Yeah. You gotta love how, like, well, like, nearly every stage in the game, uh, getting- Oh, this is the neutral path, I don't wanna go here. Uh, I think, like, every stage in the game with Eggman robots, that gives you dark points, which is really bizarre. Yeah, right, I guess it's just because it's not the black creatures. Mm. Like, I think that might just be what they're trying to go for. It's like, yeah, just basically anything that's not an alien is probably good guy points. Yeah, because this is basically a three-way war going on, so... It's a three-way war, but you can only choose two sides. Well, technically three, since it's neutral, but like... Yeah. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you split three two ways? You either oh, take God. two and put them... Oh, what's going okay. on? You're suddenly on that wall. Alright, there we go. Wow, thanks for telling me. <laughs> oh, we oh, haven't no. been using that constantly already through the game. No. Uh, one thing <laughs> that I do like that's, I think, exclusive to this game as far as I know is that the rings that you absolutely need to use the light dash on, um, they'll turn see-through after you go through a ring, after you go through the rings once. So, oh, cool. yeah, see, so you, do it again. Yeah, you can do it again. You can do it basically as much as you need to. So yeah, that's that's good level design. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I wouldn't believe how many times I've light speed dashed and went, oh no. Oh no. Because I messed something up. Yeah. It's, oh no. Especially happens to me in um generations I find. Don't know why. Mm -hmm. Though generations is a pretty special case because you can't light speed dash every ring. Yeah, I don't- I don't really like that. Yeah, what I don't like is how it feels like sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah, modern chemical plant, just that one- the- the, uh, shortcut at the start. I swear I just- sometimes it just doesn't work. Oh yeah, I've died so many times because of that. Yeah. It's like, sometimes I mash, and sometimes I time it, it's like... No matter what I do, it just- it's just random, I find. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know I was able to figure out how to get it down consistently back when I was like twelve. <laughs> but like going back to the game now, I'm always like, how did I do this so quickly and so easily? What secrets did I figure out way back then that I haven't figured out now? Yeah, the funniest thing is that. Um, I think Unleashed Wii is the only game I can think of where the light speed dash has never caused me issues. <laughs> yeah, I've never gotten to play the Wii and PS2 version of Unleashed. Mainly because I've never got Unleashed until, like, right after I got Generations. It's a really funny story, um, mm. throughout most of that school year, I was, um, I was constantly trying to get my mother to buy me Generations. Oh. And, um, she, she got me Generations, but she also got me Unleashed, with one little caveat. She let me play the first level, and then she said, raise all of your grades, and I'll let you actually have the game. If not, I'm taking it back. Oh. So naturally, I raised all my grades over the course of, like, two weeks, because, for one, 
my test scores from the previous uh, test didn't go in yet. And I always ace tests, so that always just leaps my grades. Nice. So, yeah, I basically just got unleashed for free back when I was like 12. I finally got to play it, I was like, yeah! I finally get to beat stuff up. I get to play Sonic, but also Jack and Daxter. <laughs> Jack and Daxter of Lost Frontier, the best game. <laughs> but honestly, that was my mindset when I first saw um, Sonic Unleashed back when I think I was it was either six or seven. Mm. Um, when I first saw like the first trailers of it on TV. For, well, for one, the Werehog freaked me out. I was like, why is Sonic is spiky, but actually painful spiky now? Yeah. That doesn't look good. So, like, <laughs> it kind of scared me when I was a kid. I was like, is this going to be a Sonic horror film? Oh, good. I mean, that and was then, a like, short film, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. I liked that short film. Yeah. It also had really good CG. Yeah. I want a full movie in that style. Yeah, that would be really cool. Instead, we got the Sonic movie, which, while I like the Sonic movie, it's definitely not what I was expecting for a Sonic movie. I, I, I still haven't seen it, actually. Mm. I've, I'm surprised at how well it's been doing, though. Yeah, yeah. I, the only reason why I watched it was because I was called in to work on, um, on Valentine's Day. And I took the bus and I ended up getting to the movie theater, like, two or three hours early, so I was like, mm. I'll just watch a movie and then get on the next bus to work. <laughs> nice. It's a good use of time. Yeah. So now I get the, uh, I, I get the clout of being one of those people who went and watched the Sonic movie on Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's like the most romantic movie you can, like, take someone to see. Oh yeah, and it's also basically like a meme ah. or Ride the passage. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I'm shocked you homed all the way onto that bird. It was like a mile yeah. away. Yeah. So this is just... kind of, kind of an interesting stage. Uh, there's no goal ring in this one, and it's the way it's laid out makes me feel like this. Feel this feels a bit more like an, a hub world rather than an actual stage. Um, mm. and it's basically a lot of level design similar to. Westopolis, and your goal is pretty much just to find, for Dark anyway, these five bombs and just blow them up, which is, I don't know, it's interesting change of pace. The uh, hero mission is a bit more tedious because you have to find, how many is it? Yeah, 20, you have to find 20 bombs and to suck them up with this vacuum gun thing, and it's one of those things where if you, uh, if you're like, missing one it can it can get a little it can get annoying trying to find the last remaining bomb especially since you have a time limit in this stage yeah, i just realized the time is actually counting down in the green yeah oh death to all who oppose huh <laughs> this is a kids game everybody indeed you're better off just using the infinite ammo rather than the chaos powers because, well, the only reason I can think of to use this is that Chaos Blast destroys these things, but besides that, eh. <laughs> <laughs> well, those things where it's like, this should be the cooler mechanic, and yet yeah. it's not really as useful as the base mechanics. Yeah. I feel like I've played a lot of games where that kind of happens, hmm. but just, I feel like it's something that happens mostly in RPGs. I wouldn't expect it to be in a platformer. Yeah, because a platformer has a lot less to work with, so it's easier for them to get, uh, give all the mechanics enough uh, screen time, I guess? Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, though there are some platformers where the mechanics kind of feel like just added on gimmicks for a level. Yeah, like, um, definitely. I recently, I recently played through Celeste, and while I think that game is fantastic, I feel like the fact that they just introduced like a new mechanic every level kind of made it feel like a level gimmick instead of what it should have been. Mm. Yeah, I can understand that. 
from like getting the double jump at the end of the game. Well, that sounds bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the game's still great though. Yeah. It's still a fantastic game. I've played up to the, I think the, uh, hotel level. I thought that level was really cool, it's one of my personal favorites from the game. Mm, I spent a long time just trying to beat that um, mini game, like, section. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but like. Um, like the 8 bit version of Celeste? Yeah. Yeah, um, after you uh, just play it for the first time, that mini game is actually just available from the menu. Oh, nice, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing when I first got to that little 8-bit Celeste thing. I was thinking, oh man, how long is this? I just want to beat it already so I can get whatever special thing. Little did I know that I could beat it whenever. Yeah, I was like determined to beat the whole thing, and it just went on and it just kept going. Mm -hmm. And I feel like playing through a bunch of that at once got me into a... Uh, bit of a spoiler territory because I didn't even know double jump was in the game until I got it in the 8-bit Celeste <laughs> and then I kept getting to each new level afterwards and just thinking to myself when am I getting double jump yeah I know it's in this game 